Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel Code Logic. So in this series Hospital Management System, this is the ninth video. In this video, we are going to see how to list all the patients in our UI. So yeah, without wasting any time, let's get started. So we have to open a folder here inside app shared service we have a data service file so we have to write one method here to get all the patients so we copy the method get all doctors and we'll change its name to get all patients Now we'll close this file. Now we'll go to the patient component inside which patient component.html file. Here uh, we have to create a table. So for that, before that, uh, we are going to patient component.ts file. Here uh, we'll define one array of type patient. Now uh, we are going to create one method here, get all patients. So data API dot get all patients dot subscribe and on that result we are going to iterate it again. So all patients equals to result dot map. We have to create one constant here of type data and we have to assign the value from that element so e dot payload dot doc dot data so this is how uh, we are getting the data from that result variable and uh, we are getting the id as well so data dot id equals to e dot payload dot doc dot id so here uh, it should be uh, patient id instead of just id so we'll return the data we'll change it here patient id and we'll return this constant data okay so now uh, we'll go to the doctor component.ts file so we have here four lines of code so we'll copy that lines so these lines are nothing but the display columns, data sources, and then paginator and sort variables. Okay, so we'll copy that lines and we are going to paste it here inside the patient component.ts file. We'll quick fix all the import statements. So data source will be of type patients. Then uh we have columns here so we'll change the names of each column so name and mobile will be same then gender will be same instead of department we'll create a doctor here okay so now uh, we'll go to the doctor component.html file we have this table so we'll copy that code and we are going to paste it inside the patient component.html file so we'll change the comment to the patient table and then we have to add that apply filter method so we'll copy the code from the doctor patient and we're going to paste it inside the patient component.ts file okay here you can see we are getting the value from that filter and then we have to search it there so inside a patient component.html file we don't want this email column here uh, we have the doctor column 
so we'll change the names row dot doctor underscore id okay then on click of that icon we have three options right view edit and delete so we'll change the method names to the view patient edit patient and delete patient and we are going to define that in our patient component.ts file so this is a task for you to complete these methods so I'm not going to complete that in the videos so it is a similar what we have did for the doctor okay so you can do that and if you are facing any problem then you can check out the repository okay now we'll copy the CSS from the doctor and we'll paste it inside the patient compound.css file okay and here uh, we have the get all doctors okay and uh, inside get all doctors we have this data source code so we'll copy that those three lines and we are going to paste it here so we are going to pass the all patient information to the data source okay now on ng on init we are going to call the method get all patients so you can see here these are the data which is coming name is not coming up so we'll check it why it is not coming up so we'll go to the patient compound.html file so here uh, it is not name it is a patient underscore name okay So here uh, we have to write one method get doctor name from ID so this method will contain the ID and we have to return one string that is doctor name so we are going to create one variable array of type any all doctors initially its value will be empty okay we have copied that get all doctors method we are going to paste it here and we'll change the name all doctors okay and we are going to remove these three lines and on ng on init method we have to call that get all doctors method now to get the doctor name we have to iterate over the array of all doctors so we have defined one variable here doctor name and we are using here for each loop all doctors if element dot id is exactly equals to this id then we have to return when we have to assign the value to the doctor name that is element dot name and then we have to return the value doctor name okay so here uh, we have to call that method so instead of row dot doctor id we are going to call that method method get doctor name and we have to pass the parameter as a row doctor underscore id okay so we'll see now you can see a doctor's name is coming up and when you click on that action icon so all the three options are there and when we are filtering the data is getting filtered okay you can see here so 
सो या दैट्स इट फॉर द वीडियो गाइड्स इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल देन बाय बाय